defences against the person too, ABH and GBH. This is our second tutorial on non-fatal offences against the person. We looked in the first tutorial at assault, battery and the defence of consent. I want to talk to you now about the more serious offences against the person. Assault occasioning actual bodily harm, which is commonly referred to as ABH. Grievous bodily harm, commonly referred to as GBH. And wounding or causing GBH with intent. We will begin by looking at the least serious of those offences and graduate up, if you like, to the most serious offence. We will firstly examine ABH. ABH is a statutory offence contrary to section 47 of the Offences Against the Persons Act 1861. It is triable either way and subject to a maximum term of five years imprisonment. The actus reus of ABH is an assault or battery which causes actual bodily harm. First, the prosecution need to prove the actus reus of either an assault or battery, both of which you should be familiar with from the previous tutorial. The base offence will most commonly be a battery as it follows that physical force is more likely to cause harm, but either offence will suffice. Once the actus reus of assault or battery is established, it must be proved that the assault or battery occasions actual bodily harm. To occasion means to cause, and the usual rules of factual and legal causation apply in accordance with Roberts. 